。第三十條咧就係問食物網嘅，咁你下面見到一堆生物啦，同埋有啲箭嘴指住佢哋嘅關係，就係講緊能量嘅傳送啦。咁成條題目就問我哋啦。假設呢，每一個嘅食物鏈呢，佢所有嘅能量輸入呢都係一樣嘅。咁其實呢條題目呢，有幾多條食物鏈呢？有一條啦、兩條啦，同埋三條嘅。咁啊，假設啦，呢三條食物鏈呢嘅能量輸入呢都一樣，即係例如對最當初個太陽啊，射落棵草咁樣，呢、這個大家一樣嘅。咁究竟啦，喺邊兩個嘅食性層次之間？傳送嘅能量咧係最少嘅咧，咁而家啦，你見得到咧就有咧一二三四四個嘅能量傳送嘅，咁我哋咧成條題目其實考緊大家嘅咧，就係、是、喺個傳送能量之間係會發生 energy loss 能量流失嘅呢一件事啦，由一個食物層次傳送能量去另一個食物層次嘅時候咧。其實啦，就只係好少部分嘅能量咧，大約一成啦，係可以傳送得到嘅啫。所以就要提翻大家啦，一個月係長嘅 food chain 咧，佢所流失嘅能量咧，其實就係越高嘅，越多嘅。咁啊，因為啦，用翻啦呢一個 food chain 嚟去理解啦，由草去老鼠。冇咗九成噶啦，已經冇咗啦。咁啊，由老鼠再去到鷹咧，又冇咗九成噶啦。咁你見得到咧，所餘無幾嘅其實係最衰咧，其實就係呢一條 f o o t i n g 啊。由草去草蜢冇咗九成，由草蜢去到蜥蜴又冇咗九成，去到最後尾蜥蜴去到鷹啦。你諗下，前面已經冇咗兩次九成啦。但係啦，第三號咧，第一下係第一次嘅九成嚟嘅啫。跟住啦，去到第三條 foot chain 咧，都只不過係冇咗一次。咁啊，相比起嚟計呢，原來一號嘅箭嘴呢，佢所傳送嘅能量呢，應該已經係少之又少㗎啦。所以答案呢就係 A 啦。咁同一時間亦都提埋大家啦，由於呢越長嘅 foot chain 咧，佢就係會越多能量嘅流失啊嘛。所以啦，喺一個食物鏈入面呢，係好少可呢有超越五層嘅食性層次嘅。咁同一時間亦都提埋大家啦，原來啦一個短啲嘅 foot chain 咧。相比一個長啲嘅 food chain 咧，佢係能夠支撐到更加多嘅 consumer 咧去生存嘅。Question thirteen is about the food web, so you can see the plants and animal in the food web, and then also you can see the arrow to indicate the energy transfer direction. So the question is asking if the energy input for each food chain is the same. So what does it mean? How many food chains are there? We can see that there are three food chains in the diagram. First, second, and for the third, and we assume that there are same energy input. So that means from the sunlight shining on the grass for the photosynthesis making food, and then the energy will be transferred to the other organisms in the food chain. So in this question is looking. Is what I'm saying. So this question is asking between which two trophic levels. The transfer of energy is the smallest, so we need to remind the concept of energy loss between the trophic level. Only a very small proportion of energy, usually less than ten percent, is transferred from one trophic level to the next trophic level. So it, yeah, you see what I'm saying. So it remind us if the food chain is longer, there will be a higher energy loss. Between the trophic level, so we need to identify which food chain is the longest. So of course, it should be this one, from the grass to the grasshopper to the lizard and then to the hawk. So we can see that there are two rounds of energy loss from grass to grasshopper and from grasshopper to the lizard. There are two times energy loss. So for the answer number one, so it should transfer the less energy. Remind one more thing. Due to the great loss of energy along a food chain, a food chain rarely consists of more than five trophic level. And then we can exactly what I'm saying. And then we can know that why a shorter food chain can support more consumer at higher trophic level than a longer food chain.